Welcome, this is Don Grimm. In this video, I'm going to define the term incurred loss and describe how it is commonly used in PNC insurance. Let's start with some very basic definitions. In the context of insurance losses, the word incur means to become liable for. So keeping this definition in mind, we can define incurred loss as a measure of the liability assumed by an insurer due to claims covered under an insurance policy. And incurred loss is composed of two main components, paid loss and case reserves. Let's take a look at this definition visually. Paid loss plus case reserves equals incurred loss. And as a refresher, Paid loss refers to the amount paid by an insurer related to covered claims, whereas case reserves are the insurer's estimates of unpaid liability for specific claims. Now, in most situations, this is how the term incurred loss is being used, the sum of paid loss and case reserves. Sometimes, however, the term incurred loss is used in a broader sense and includes not just paid loss and case reserves, but something called IBNR as well. When IBNR is included in incurred loss, this version is sometimes called bulk incurred loss or alternatively ultimate loss. IBNR or incurred but not reported is an estimate of unpaid liability that is not reflected in case reserves. IBNR is generally provided in aggregate as opposed to case reserves which are established on an individual claim basis. The word bulk in bulk incurred loss conveys that IBNR or bulk reserves are included. So far, we described incurred loss, but a closely related concept is ALAE. ALAE stands for Allocated Loss Adjustment Expense, and it refers to the expenses allocable to specific claims. So each of the loss components we discussed so far has an analog in the ALAE world. Sometimes loss and ALAE are combined and sometimes they're separate. It'll be easiest to describe how ALAE is related to incurred loss by updating our illustration. In our diagram, we already talked about paid loss, case reserves, and IBNR. These terms describe loss only. That is, they do not include ALAE. The comparable components for ALAE are called paid ALAE, ALAE case reserves, and ALAE IBNR. For loss and ALAE combined, the components are paid loss and ALAE, loss and ALAE case reserves, and loss in ALAE IBNR. In practice, you'll find that these components are not always labeled accurately. For example, it's not uncommon for reference to be made to incurred loss that is actually incurred loss in ALAE. Just in general, it's good practice to verify the specifications of the data that you're working with. When working with incurred loss, with or without ALAE, it is important to understand the underlying basis. Incurred loss can refer to an individual claim or reflect the aggregation of many claims based on a common characteristic, such as accident date or policy date. Depending on the base, incurred loss can be represented as a cumulative amount evaluated as of a specific point in time, or is the change in value between two points in time, known as a calendar period. This topic can get quite involved, so that's all we're going to say about it here. I recommend that you check out my other videos on these topics. Let's end this discussion with a review of the various naming conventions for the components we've discussed so far. Incurred loss that does not include IBNR is more precisely called case incurred loss or alternatively reported loss. IBNR, which stands for incurred but not reported, is sometimes called unreported loss. In this context, the terms reported and unreported refer to whether the insurer 
quote, reported losses in the form of paid losses or case reserves. The terms reported or unreported should not be interpreted to mean that claims have or have not been reported to the insurer. When incurred loss includes IVNR, it is sometimes called bulk incurred loss. More frequently, the term ultimate loss will be used to indicate the ultimate or final value of losses once all claims have been paid and closed. The sum of case reserves in IBNR is often called loss reserves, or sometimes unpaid loss. It is important to recognize that both case reserves and IBNR are only estimates of loss determined at a specified point in time. Although we're not going to discuss them, the common names for loss types containing ALAE are on the right-hand side of this chart. As with loss only, there are similar variations in naming conventions for components containing ALAE. You can find a chart like this one on our website at archeractuarial.com. Thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.